More importantly, though, you don't need to worry about rising costs because Chipotle is more than capable of passing those costs on to you, the consumer. Earlier this month, the company raised menu prices by 3 to 4%. Okay, that offset the cost of higher wages. And you know what? Unlike at other restaurants, I doubt those higher prices will hurt Chipotle's business in the slightest. It's too beloved. As management argued at the time, their food still represents terrific value for consumers. Outside of higher price markets like New York, the price of a chicken burrito remains below eight bucks. Given the quality of the food, I think people will be happy to fork over the few additional nickels and dimes. Are there any other positives here? I like Chipotle's proven track record of rolling out popular new menu items to keep customers uh, coming back for more. A couple of years ago, it was the carne asada. This March, they launched a customizable quesadilla already looking like a big hit. Finally, as I've been saying for over a year now, there's a powerful last man standing dynamic in the restaurant industry. Anyone who was able to survive and thrive during the pandemic now has far fewer competition because COVID drove so many of the rivals out of business. A major player like Chipotle should be able to take market share, and it also gives them more bargaining power when it comes to dealing with their landlords, meaning they get lower rents and more space to build their Chipotle lanes where they really make a lot of money for drive throughs Shopping centers all over the country are desperate for Chipotles, and the company's taking advantage of that fact, planning to put up 200 new stores this year. Most are retrenching. Valuation, while the stock's far from cheap, trading at 63 times this year's earnings estimates, Chipotle has a habit of looking a lot cheaper in retrospect because the estimates keep climbing. When the stock first climbed to the mid-1500s in February, it was trading at more than 70 times uh, earnings because the company was only expected to make just over 21 bucks a share. Now it's at the same level with a lower multiple because the analysts think that they can make more than 25 Four dollars per share. I bet CEO Brian Nickel has no problem trumping the street's forecast. He's just that good. The bottom line, this one's ready. Chipotle's already rallied hard off its lows, but after five months of mostly trading sideways, it's a coiled spring. If the stock can climb another 20 or 30 points from here, I'm betting that that triggers a massive breakout and people will buy, buy, buy the stock of Chipotle. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.